Magst du mich bitte schauen? Oh, man könnte das aber falsch verstehen, was? to work over the weekend. Crazy! Don't like doing that. I like separating it work and life that I have both at the same time. But last week was just crazy. Crazy. And in terms of craziness, let's come straight to the video. Today I want to look at five little crazy silly things that I have learned from Germany. And point number one, the first crazy thing that Germany taught me is time is money. Yeah, you know, you know, every time you waste every, any minute, any second, you're wasting some money. It has to be at work or at home. It's always very valuable. Sometimes um, I wish my fellow Kenyans would know this because I tell me it's all just loka loka, you know, hakuna matata. Hari hari has no blessings. Mwenda pole haji kwai, which means when you walk slow, you don't hurt yourself. I mean, these are quite white sayings, but on the other hand, they encourage like, you know, taking your time and relaxing which does not cope with the with the, the, the with the lesson I learned in Germany the time is money. Yes. The second little crazy silly thing that I learned in Germany is coffee is life. That means every morning meet whichever German it is that you meet is just heading. Like even with the eyes closed. To the coffee machine, is it? Coffee machine, coffee machine. Actually, you cannot even speak to some people before they have their first cup of coffee. That's how holy it is. Yeah, coffee is life. And, and this brings me to my third crazy little point, which is tea is for the sick people. Yeah. And I call it tea. Ach du meine Gute, wieso? I mean, everyone drinks coffee in Germany. And tea, which... I don't know, it's like herbs, herbs in water or fruit stuff in water to make like the fruit tea or the herbal tea or whatever tea. This is drunk actually when someone is not feeling well. It helps in some stomach problems, some dehydrations or some headaches. Apart from the northern part, those are the people that actually drink the tea the way we drink in Kenya. I mean, my whole life. Every morning, since I was a little baby, I drank my cup of Kenyan tea, actually the Ketepa Kenyan tea, which is black tea with milk and sugar. End of story. Ask a Kenyan to give you a cup of tea, that's what you get on your table. No questions. No. That's it. Yeah. And the fourth little silly thing that I learned in Germany is Potatoes are not vegetables. <laughs> Seriously. All my life, I used potatoes to make some stew, some sauce, you know, some uh, vegetable thingies. And then I come to Germany and no one uses potatoes as vegetables. In fact, they use potatoes as, as the side dish. Like, you know, you get your boiled potatoes or your mashed potatoes or whatever kind of potatoes you are. And it will be like the side dish. And uh, separately, there will be the vegetables and the meat. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, in Kenya, we also have some dishes which are made of potato, but we we use it as a vegetable, mostly. Potatoes are vegetables. Yeah, 
maybe it's the same thing like a tomato is a fruit or a vegetable yeah black potato potato yeah and the fifth little last thing that Germany taught me is that life is short and I can always be better that means travel today learn whatever it is you want to learn today there might not be tomorrow so Germans travel a lot they like to yeah let's say do what they want to do now and not postpone it for tomorrow like we do in Kenya we postpone a lot I will travel when I'm retired or I will do this when I am blah 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 do it now time is short there might not be tomorrow this is the time yeah those are my five little stupid things that I learned in Germany. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it the thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, please do because I do post every week. Until next time, have a blessed week. Ciao! Nee, wieso? Mir geht's gut.